Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue the series about optimizing Notes Nook by taking a look at the website and registering for an account. Now please understand that this is still all my opinion. It's something that I've used for uh, quite some time now and, and feel comfortable with, but I would suggest you do your own research you uh, look into all your options for a, a notes productivity app. And of course, we are at this point suggesting Notes Nook, of course. But one reason I wanted to go, you know, a little in depth into the website uh, is because each person needs to do their own research, person needs to follow up with the developers and look at the organization as a whole to see if this is a right fit for you in your productivity stack, uh, stack. So here we are at the Notes Nook website. Of course, the web address is notesnook.com. Uh, when you do uh, start looking at the website, you know, the very first thing you see is the Notes Nook logo and their tagline is privacy for everyone. And of course, they do bill themselves as open source, end-to-end -end encrypted, and private. Uh, that's something that we touched on in our last video, video number two. But as we scroll down here on the website, uh, we start looking at examples of what the interface looks like. And of course, we'll go into a little bit more detail when we get into the actual uh, user experience of the Notes app. Uh, but for now, of course, we are still on the uh, website. As you scroll down a little more, it talks about privacy for everyone. Uh, gives an example of, uh, you know, how privacy matters to the developers and how Notes Nook encrypts the data. Uh, as you scroll a little further down, it talks about the end-to-end -end encryption. Note syncing, whether it's your mobile desktop browser, uh, you can access your notes. Uh, and one word about the note syncing, and this is something, of course, we'll touch on in later videos, is the website, or excuse me, the Notes Nook app, uh, it's basically free. It's, so there's a free plan. You can sign up uh, and have the app on one of your devices. It's where you get into wanting to sync between many devices, whether that's your desktop, your uh, laptop, your uh, smartphone, uh, the web, et cetera. That's where you more or less get into the advanced uh, functionality of Notes Nook, and that's where you, you do have to uh, pay for a subscription. Uh, but like I said, we'll get further into that as we go along in, in uh, following videos. And of course, here in the website, it does uh, talk about getting Notes Nook on all your devices. So it is available for Windows, Apple, uh, Linux, uh, believe that is web, Android, and iOS. And so it, it does have quite a bit of functionality between operating systems. Uh, and that's, that's pretty important, I think. Okay, as we go further on down, uh, it, the way it shares notes online is called monographs. Uh, and there's some written documentation here on the website that talks about monographs. Uh, but that's how you do share a note with someone via a monograph. And you can actually set it to destruct. And so if I'm sharing a note with someone, I want them to see it that one time. And then I want it to, for privacy's sake, I want it to go away. After that person that has received it views it, it will actually destruct and then that link will end. Uh, the note doesn't destruct, just the web link does. Uh, Notes Nook does offer a web clipper. Uh, we will possibly get into that in a, in a future video. Uh, talks about, of course, open source and transparency. Uh, it is in August of 2022 that they decided to switch to a uh, open source platform uh, and we talked a little bit about that in our previous video so be sure and check out our part two video on that 
Uh, and of course, here it talks about editing the notes the way you want. So Notes Nook does offer basic formatting. Uh, it does have task lists, uh, tables, outlines. It does support markdown. Uh, you can upload images and files. Code blocks, uh, it's something I've never used before, so I can honestly say I, I've never had any use for it. But if this is something that interests you, I'd, I'd highly recommend you look into how Notes Nook uses code blocks. And it does have maths and formulas. Uh, and that's another thing that I've really never used. Once again, I'm sure there is uh, frequently asked questions on the website about maths and formulas. Then as we go down further, extra privacy with a notes vault. And so within Notes Nook, you can set up an encrypted storage vault that is password protected. And so that gives you another level of security, another level of encryption within the Notes Nook app that's already secure and encrypted. Um, we go further on, they have opened up a uh, beta section of their testing a reminder section. Uh, it's still very uh, basic, but that's something that we can look at when we go into the Notes app uh, app itself. And of course, then here is a section on learning how your notes are encrypted. I highly recommend that you uh, click on this link here to Veracrypt and to read the documentation about how Notes Nook uses this open source tool. So we scroll further down, of course, then you get into user uh, recommendations or reviews uh, pulled off of many different areas. Uh, read those. And I also highly recommend if you're not on Twitter to go ahead and join Twitter. Uh, Notes Nook has quite a bit of information on Twitter. Uh, they also are um, highly active on Reddit and they uh, have uh, quite a bit of information uh, out there on the internet. You just have to, you know, do your due diligence and and search for it. Uh, next, we get into more or less their roadmap, uh, things that they've done, things that they're, they're in process of doing, things that they would like to do, and possibly that's coming, uh, you know, in the, in the near future. Uh, and once again, their tagline, privacy for everyone. And they do offer an open source and a private note-taking experience. Uh, down at the bottom are quite a few links uh, talking about their Twitter page, Reddit, uh, how you can get in touch with them in many different ways. Uh, they do have an about section and a blog. Highly recommend you uh, check that out. Uh, we'll touch on pricing real quick and then we'll go ahead and sign up for our account. Uh, they do offer an, an education plan uh, at a discount. I would highly recommend you look into that. And of course, the big thing right now in Notes apps is app A versus app B or app C. And so down at the bottom of the page, uh, it gives you some comparisons on Notes Nook versus Evernote, Notes Nook versus OneNote. And in a time of uncertainty with the changes that are coming to Evernote, uh, this would be a great time to take a look at Notes Nook. Uh, I'll click on pricing real quick and we'll touch on that. So your basic pricing is zero. Uh, of course, you continue to get the zero knowledge encryption. Uh, it does allow you to sync to unlimited devices, uh, offline access, unlimited notes, uh, limited organization, and then at $49.99 a year, including taxes, which is still cheaper than Evernote, uh, you have unlimited attachments, unlimited storage, you have access to that private vault that I was talking about, uh, unlimited notebooks and tags, and it does give you a 30-day money-back guarantee on this uh, trial of the Pro plan. Um, so if this is something that interests you and you, you would like to take a further look at Notes Nook, at the very top, you can click on Sign Up, and this is where you create your account. So you have a section to enter your email. You go ahead and set your password, and then click on Create Account. 
Now, if you notice at the very bottom of this page, it says skip this and go directly to the app. You can use very basic limited functionality if you don't sign up for an account. Uh, that's if you just barely want to try it out, give it a little bit of test, but know that the, the functions on it are very, very limited. And so it is recommended that you do create an account. Uh, but you can take a look at it with uh, going directly to the app without creating one. Uh, I do already have a test account and as well as my regular full functioning account. And so coming up in the next uh, video, we'll touch on what the uh, dashboard looks like within the Notes Nook app, uh, how to get around the different sections, how to set up a notebook, and how to create your first note. Okay, with that being said, I think we're at the end of our uh, third video on optimizing Notes Nook. Uh, I do thank you for taking time out of your day to, to watch and uh, learn a little bit about uh, what Notes Nook is. And I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right. Have a great day.